Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. The button's down below. You know where it is. You've probably watched like a thousand videos by now. Today, I'm doing one of my first videos related to back to school. So, I have my 27 things to do when you're home from college because I am currently home from college and although sometimes it's really fun to be home and like relaxing, I've gotten to the point in the summer that I've run out of stuff to do. So I forced myself to think of 27 things to do when you're home from college. The first one is to spend time with your parents because they missed you when you were away and you have to admit you miss them too. You miss the home cooked meals. You missed all the time that you could just talk to your mom or talk to your dad. So spend some time with them because you're definitely going to miss them when you go back to college. My second thing is to spend time with pets if you have them and if not go to like an animal shelter or go to your friend's house and play with their pets for two reasons. One. Pets are adorable and I would literally spend all my time with them. And two, studies have shown that playing with animals or being around pets actually makes you happier. Number three is to reconnect with any of your high school friends or friends from your hometown. This is a really good time to catch up with people that you used to be friends with and you never really know what people have been up to. My fourth idea is to try any new restaurants that have opened up. I know in Westchester there's so many restaurants that are new that I like have no clue what they are. I feel so weird. I like don't know all the places anymore but I'm taking this time to try them all out. Get some really cute Instagrams because like food is the most Instagrammable thing ever and it switches up your routine from just going to the normal everyday places. Number five is to try a new recipe. Even if you can't cook, teach yourself to cook. It'll take up some of your time, it'll be interesting. Try one of those recipes that you saw on Pinterest that you've been like dying to try but you didn't have time for. Perfect time to do it. Number six, I'm on two hands now. Do that DIY project that you've been staring at at Michael's or on Pinterest because you have time to do it and it might come out really good. Do it because you're not going to have any other time to do it and you're just going to keep saying you want to do it. Number seven is to paint your room. Painting your room will take you about like two days. It'll be something fun and it'll completely change your environment. If you can't change your whole room, paint like a wall or paint something because painting is also another thing that is very therapeutic and stress relieving. Number eight is to rewatch your favorite Netflix show like Friends. I mean I've watched Friends like a million times by now and I just don't get tired of it so that's something to do. I mean spend a whole day, sit on your couch, eat popcorn and watch Friends. Like best day ever. Literally the best day ever. Number nine is to take a workout class. I know all of us have been looking on Pinterest and on Instagram envious of those really awesome people who work out every day. The summer is the perfect time to try to get into a routine to work out and it's the perfect time to try a new class. Like go to a Zumba class, go to a hot yoga class, a kickboxing class, try something new with your workout. A it's good for you and B it'll be something different and you never know if you like it. Number ten is kind of a boring one, but organize your emails. I know all of us have an email inbox, which is so messy. We have all these emails that we don't even need. They're not in folders. This is the perfect time to organize your email. I did this the other day. It took me like all day, to be honest. I feel so much better now. I put them all into folders and like color coded them. Number 11 is my favorite scrapbook. Take all your old photos that you have lying around or go to CVS, develop some of your photos that you have on your phone or on your laptop of your friends and put them in a scrapbook with little stickers. It's so fun. And this is also great if you miss some of your school friends because you can look back on the memories you made with them and put them all in one place so that you guys can all look at them together when you go back to school. Number 12 is to visit some of your other family members. So I have family throughout like Long Island and Pennsylvania, so this is the perfect time to go visit them because you might not see them a lot and it'll be like a mini vacation and you won't have to spend any money because you'll be with your family. Like go visit your grandparents. They will give you money. They will cook for you. You will not have to pay for a hotel. Can we just talk about my highlight right now? Yeah. Number 13 is to have a mall day. And if you don't have money, which I don't have money, leave your wallet in your car so that you can't spend any money. I mean, lock your car, don't lose your wallet, and you can just go in, window shop, try stuff on, like, and you won't spend any money. And this is also a great thing that you can do with all your friends. Number 14 is to see a movie and extra points if you see it on the bargain day. So near me, Tuesdays is $6 for all movies and since we're all broke college students, that's really helpful. And it's a really good time to watch all the new movies that everyone's talking about. Like I just saw Spider-Man and it was so good. So go see that. Number 15 is to go to the bookstore and this also goes along with number 16 which is read a book. 
because books are great you know me I'm a book lover I know look at all my books like you can wander around you can check out new books you can hang out in the cafe like it's a fun thing to do I love bookstores and the summer is a perfect time to start reading Everyone needs to read a book this summer. That's what I'm challenging you to do. Read one book and you might like it, and it'll give you something to do on those down times that you have throughout the summer. Number 16 is to try out a new Starbucks drink. I know we have all seen the Instagrammable pink drinks, purple drinks. Go try out some new Starbucks drink. It'll switch up your routine, and it might even taste good. Number 17, or are we on 18? I've lost track. <laughs> is to go bowling and bowling can kind of be expensive sometimes so go on a bargain day just like with the movies this is a really fun thing to do with all your friends or with your family or even by yourself and it'll be hilarious my next one is to have FaceTime movie nights with any of your school friends pick a day of the week that every other week or every week you FaceTime each other and all watch the same movie it's a great time to catch up with each other and you'll be watching a movie so it's like two in one number 19 is if you have a car or if you have access to a car just go driving around and blast your music it's such a stress reliever you can literally sing at the top of your lungs to all of your favorite like songs and you might even discover a different neighborhood or a different little spot that you might want to drive to next time number 20 is to go outside and just tan so whether it's in your backyard go to your local beach go to your local park it's a great time to get tan my next one is to learn a new language since summer is like approximately three months long, it is a lot of time that you will be able to learn some of a new language. You never know. If you put a lot of work into it, you might become fluent by the end of the summer. My next one is to have a spa day because spa days are the best days. Go get your nails done or do your nails yourself. Do a face mask. Take a bath with a bath bomb, some bubble baths, some candles. Read your book. After the day, you will be all pampered and look very nice. My next one is to babysit. I know that this is a very common thing for most people, but go around your neighborhood, see if anyone needs a babysitter. It'll take up some of your day, you'll meet new families, and you'll get paid. My next one is to experiment with makeup, look up things on Pinterest and Instagram, and try to create those really awesome makeup faces. It's the perfect time, you can make all the mistakes you want because you have all the time you want. My next one is to learn how to play an instrument. Go take piano lessons or guitar lessons or it'll be something new and just like with the language you never know what you might pick up or what you might like and my last one is to read my blog the link is down below see what I did there see see oh I'm really good at plugging anyways that was my 27 or so things to do when you're home from college if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe I'll see you guys next time bye